All right, so uh, I'm very excited. This is an historic moment for me. Um, I'm going to open up my newly shipped uh, snake that I ordered. I'm hoping that everything is fine. I don't have anything good to get in here with, so I'm using these scissors. It's hard not to be excited, like all giddy. But I want to be gentle with this. And, uh, just open it up here. This poor little thing has been through an ordeal, I'm sure. But, uh, you know, it's overnight, and uh, they got it here quickly. <clears throat> what to do if the box is cold? Sometimes if a shipment is delayed, blah, 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 remove the cups and bags and allow the animal to acclimate to room temperature. Never put the animal which is cold on arrival under a heat lamp, in hot water or on a heat pad. Once the animal is warmed up, it may be moved into your enclosure. Check the temperature of enclosures. Yeah, okay. Well, you know what? I have a cool... Uh, laser thermometer here and I'm gonna just put it on here uh, that's 74 degrees the outside of the box mm, about the same some newspaper here I know where the snake is. Oh. <laughs> I see movement. That well, it says it's 66. Oh, hey, little buddy. <laughs> hey. Look at you. Hi. <laughs> Cute little thing, oh my gosh. All right. Hey there. How are you? Hmm? Did you have a long trip? Huh? <laughs> You're feisty, but I'm gonna grab you. You're all right. Everything is okay. You're just fine. Look at you. <laughs> See? It's all okay. Yeah. You're way okay. Oh yeah. You're a little cool. Had a long trip. Now he's just poking around. <laughs> My little sweetheart. Yeah. Everything's chill. <laughs> huh? How are you? Oh, what a cute little thing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put him or her. I don't actually know which. Uh, in the terrarium, and I'll bring uh, I'll bring the camera over so you guys can see. <laughs> so here we go. First thing they did was go in the plant. <laughs> it was probably my fault for you know putting him in that general direction, but I don't know if I should try to get him out of there or just let him do his thing. What's up, buddy? Are you gonna get stuck in the plant? You got all this other fun stuff to go into. Well, he's in a he's in a new environment, so I think I'm just gonna let him or her hang out in the 
in the plant for now. <laughs> I'm sure they will get curious and they will find, you know, the other things in here and they will be just fine. So we got some water. Um, you know, there's a little heat mat over here. I did a lot of uh, getting the temperature right on that and all that stuff. I ended up putting a little floodlight up here, um, which is actually giving just, a, you know, I, I, I moved it up and checked the temperature very carefully so there's some uh, temperature coming down there. And, yeah. So, um, I don't know. I think that was kind of cheesy, probably. But, you know, I was really excited to, to get my new my new pet here. And um, I just wanted to share that with you guys, kind of my first, uh, like, unboxing and <laughs> putting it in the, the terrarium. It's, um... <laughs> It it basically hasn't moved since yesterday. It has moved, so I know it's you know it's healthy and, and alive and stuff like that. But um, it after it got into the plant, um, it moved up to like a, just a little lip that's at the top of the tank, kind of like where the um, the background uh, stops. And you know I knew that, that was kind of a danger with this particular tank. Um, that a baby, baby snakes do kind of like to, you know, get up in a little crevice like that. And unfortunately, there are, like, sort of two channels that go down behind the back, and I've heard about people having their, you know, little baby snakes kind of, like, dive down in there and get stuck. So I was like, oh, man, that, that's all I would need. Um, so anyway, I left it alone because, um, you know, I understand, like, it, you know, it's it's young and it's... Um, you know, it it just came into a whole new environment. It needs to adjust. So I really want to just leave it be as much as I can. Um, this morning, I I did notice that it had started to move, um, especially like once the the lights came on. They're actually on a timer, and um, it had started to creep its front down that channel. And I was like, oh man. So I took my little feeding tongs and I just kind of bump bumped it, and it encouraged it to you know take its head back out of the um, the channel in the back and um, so then I just took a little tissue and like wedged it in there I basically wedged it in where I think both of the entrances to that are so hopefully it can't get into um, behind that so that'll be good um, it is still kind of just hanging up there though it hasn't um, you know kind of gotten over its initial shyness uh, and explored the you know the enclosure at all or anything like that so um i'm hoping that it'll you know it'll warm up to the situation um as time goes by um i don't really feel a need to rush it too much you know i want to make sure that it gets you know water and, and food and things like that but um you know it's a snake and it doesn't uh eat very often um i you know they say you know you probably don't even want to offer a food I, maybe for the first week um after you get you know, the animal, just because it's, you know, it's going to be stressed out, and it's going to be getting used to its new environment, so, um, when I, when I poked it with the tongs, it did, <laughs> like I said, it was responsive to coming out, which is exactly what I wanted, but it also, um, it shook its tail at me a little bit, they'll, they'll do that, even snakes that aren't rattlesnakes, they'll, um, they'll, they'll make a little, you know, if they can rattle some leaves or bump up against something, it was, it was telling me, you know what, leave me alone, <laughs> so, um, but I'll probably in just a couple days here, I will, um, I'll probably offer it some food. I picked up some pinky mice at the, um, pet store. And, um, so I'll, I'll defrost one of those and, you know, and, uh, see, see about feeding it. Um, you know, at that point, definitely, if it hasn't moved from that crevice back there, I will need to encourage it to, um, to get out of there. And, um, you know, I'll put it in a container so I can feed it, because I'm not planning to feed this one in the uh, environment that it's in. I think that'll, you know, just encourage it biting when, you know, you put your hand in there. Um, not that it, you know, isn't uh, interested in doing that already, it seems like. But I am very encouraged that when I was handling it, it was, uh, you know, very, very nice. Um, you know, it, it seemed like it had a really good attitude. It was just, you know, curious and moving around and stuff. It wasn't... Uh, wasn't aggressive at all, so that was great. Um, you know, babies, um, uh, you know, baby corn snakes, I've been told, you know, they are um, defensive, you know. Um, all of the, the baby corn snakes that were just friendly and curious, you know, got eaten and weren't able to reproduce. So um, so that's, you know, that's just how that is. And um, I'm looking forward to, you know, working with it. I hope it has a really good, you know, feeding response. And, um, you know, I'll just, um, as I can get you know, a couple meals into it, I'll start handling it. 
um, more, and I think it'll, you know, it'll get used to everything. It's just takes some time. So, um, anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, really excited to have um, this this tiny little life um, here that uh, you know will will be sharing its life with me. So, um, yeah, I'm just I'm, I'm super excited. I've wanted to do this for so long, and um, obviously now is just the time. Uh, I'm very very uh, very pleased, and um, I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you'll join me again.